Another thing I did after I adjusted the height on the coil on the rear coilovers, I used a a marker to just make a line on the two uh, on those two nuts, uh, just kind of as a safety precaution, so that maybe like after I don't know 50, 100 miles, I can take a look and make sure that the stuff is not moving or just not getting loose. So, and I do the same thing in the front. So I just put a, use a marker right here. I haven't done it yet, but yeah, I just put a line like that so I can see if uh, the nuts are not tight enough or the, if they're moving. So, and as a matter of fact, um, they did move a little bit from my initial install because I've noticed uh, the spring preload felt a little bit different. Uh, it felt like there was a lot more pressure on the spring. So, so I just usually do something like that. Just a line there. Mm, it's hard to see with the light. There's the marker. And at this right height, I can actually see these two bolts. It's right above the wheel, so it's perfect. Of course, if you're going to slam your car, you're probably not going to be able to see it, but at least it'll give you some idea if you're going to drive around like 100, 200 miles, take it off. And then see if stuff is moving around. Okay, I guess this is a little bit better. So yeah, there it is. This line will tell you if stuff is moving around. You can do the same thing for the bottom, but this is black marker, so I can't really tell. Uh, well, I guess it shows a little bit. You can't see it in the video. You can do it like this. Uh, it's a bit crooked, but at least you know where the top of the line is. Then you can actually make it all in the same line. So, and then after s however many miles you feel comfortable, uh, you can always just check and make sure that everything is tight and safe. I'm going to be driving across the country with these so this kind of stuff is important. But yeah, just a little suggestion. Uh, I hope it helps you guys as well.